So there's this game called Cantina Royale that allows you to earn money right away by playing it. And all you have to do is download the game onto your cell phone or laptop, install it and create a wallet so that the game knows where to send the money that you win. It's that simple. No catches, no paywalls and no NFTs needed. Just a simple plugin and play to earn. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then the first part of this video is going to cover every detail that you need to know about the game. The second part will be me walking you through the gameplay, giving you tips and tricks so that you know what to expect when you reach the battlefield. Let's check it out. Cantina Royale is a free play to earn arcade shooter game featuring both single and multiplayer online battle modes. On a mission to deliver a unique gaming experience, Cantina Royale offers dynamic gameplay and the opportunity for players to earn real world cash by fighting to the death. We're talking NFT collections, passive income, gameplay, battle modes, weaponry, and tokenomics. What sets Cantina Royale apart from every other play to earn game is the opportunity to earn real world cash, whether you own an NFT or not. So there's no catch, no complications, and nothing stopping you from making passive income starting with zero investment. Free-to-play users have the option to create an account with no wallet requirements and no hidden costs needed to jumpstart the adventure. Free users will gain access to certain game modes where they can test their skills and climb rankings against other free-to-play users. These rankings will determine your ability to become sponsored by NFT holders who are looking for their next big star. So if you think you've got what it takes, then listen up. Eager to shake the narrative of one-dimensional blockchain gaming, Cantina Royale offers four different types of battle modes, just in case you aren't very good at one of them. The 1v1 mode puts players against each other in an attempt to see who survives the deathmatch, with the winner taking the spoils. So hone in those shooting skills and get ready to be the last man standing. Next we have the free for all, where 4 to 8 players go head to head in this non-stop battle against friends and foes. The free for all deathmatch knows no allies, only enemies, where the player with the highest kill count is crowned the winner. Team deathmatch puts players against each other, where only the most powerful of teams survive the ultimate battle. Rewards are then given to players in order to vaporize their opponents. If a deathmatch is not your cup of tea, you can also play an objective based mode that requires you to take your team through a series of obstacles to complete the objective before anyone else. So no matter where your strengths lie, Cantina Royale gives you plenty of options to make winning possible. When it comes to PvE, you will have to have your wits about you. Every player must get through a series of bot enemies as they complete missions, travel through the universe and earn rewards from drops. These bots grow in HP and attack, leveling up as the player does. As players progress through the different levels, they will need to power up their teams to be able to defeat their enemies. These bots will offer rewards, resources and upgraded materials based on difficulty. The more powerful the enemy, the better rewards dropped after a kill. The game features an array of 15,000 playable NFT characters through Space Apes. The Genesis Space Ape collection holds a unique feature, where upon breeding a new Space Ape, owners are entitled to 1% of in-game earnings from each future generation for life. The recruiting feature will allow players to generate new NFT characters. This will be made possible as users progress through the game and reach certain milestones, allowing players to generate new NFT characters that could potentially be more suitable for certain activities and game modes. NFT characters will differ in rarity, and the higher the rarity of Space Ape a player holds, the more tokens they can earn. NFTs are ranked in tiers, and each tier is set to a multiplier that determines the number of tokens, rewards, and in-game currency a player can earn from using that NFT character. A weapon can be a fighter's greatest ally as well as its worst enemy. In Cantina Royale, it is no different, with players having to enhance their weapons for faster kill rates and better functionality. Upgrading your weapon is the key to leveling up in this game. There are five weapon classes in Cantina Royale, with each containing multiple weapons. Players start off with a set of basic weapons without any special perks or bonuses, but as the game develops, players will soon get their hands on NFT weapons that they can buy sell or rent on the NFT marketplace. These NFT weapons can be upgraded to gain merits that would expand the damage area, increase load speed and increase damage. Upgrading weapons automatically increases the base stats for each weapon, such as damage, ammo and handling. Weapons that reach certain levels will gain a set of stats and perks, like critical hit multiplier and cooldown rate, which will in turn improve gameplay for the user and lead them to victory. In terms of stat points, characters are assigned a set of three base stats upon starting out, namely Vitality, Defense and Agility, with a score between 50 and 80 as a new character and 150 to 180 as a max level character, depending on the rarity. 
For generic characters, these stats do not progress through gameplay, but for NFTs, base stats are what determines the strength and agility of a character. All NFT characters start at level 0, with players needing to progress through the game in order to level up their NFT to the max of level 100. Each level up will provide one additional stat point to be randomly allocated, and players will need to spend in-game currency in order to allocate the points upon leveling up. On top of this, character perks will be assigned to grant each avatar a unique makeup of abilities and functionality. Each NFT character will also have two random perks assigned to them. Perks will have a score between 50 and 180, depending on its rarity. This can be anything from an increase in melee damage to speed buffs, covering everything you need to get ready for war. If you've made it this far in the video, my name is Ubaid and welcome to Gaming Meets Finance. If you are interested in finding new ways to make money online starting from absolutely nothing, then that is exactly what I do, bringing you content that can help you find new and exciting ways to diversify your income. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's get you started. When it comes to creating a profile, it's as easy as pressing a few buttons. You're going to head to the Cantina Royale website and click on play now. It'll take you to this free to play page. Here you go ahead and choose which option you prefer. You will then be asked to apply through a waitlist. All this requires is your email address and your wallet creation through Verco. Once that is done, your application would have been submitted. Then you go ahead and download the game on your preferred device. After a few days, you should receive your approval via email, which will allow you to play the game. Once you've created an account, all you will have to do is open the game and click borrow NFT. Once you receive a free NFT to play with, you will be able to start earning right away. All tokens earned through winning will be split 50-50 with your scholarship partner, making it a fair trade-off for both player and NFT holder alike. In order to create equal opportunity for potential earners, the game's developers have included various mechanics into the scholarship program that will level the playing field. The most notable feature being the cooldown period, in which a playable NFT cannot be borrowed successively by the same user. This should allow NFTs to be spread out equally across the game's ecosystem, creating a more holistic game that shares in the spoils of war. Crowns can be earned as rewards while playing with an NFT. These tokens represent the CRT token within Cantina Royale, which will continuously expand as the game develops. The higher the rank a player has, the more rewards they can earn from missions, raids, and matches. Whilst not a cryptocurrency, it does equate to the in-game currency. For example, every 100 crowns that you own will show up in your wallet as one CRT token, which you can choose to either withdraw, stake, or use to boost your in-game character. With the game having just been released, most features are still unavailable, but will be made available in the coming months, giving you plenty of time to hone your battle skills. If you would like to take a closer look at everything I just mentioned in a lot more detail, then I will leave a link to the white paper in the description below. Now that we've gotten all the fine print out of the way, let's not waste any more time and jump right into battle. So this right here is what the game will look like once you've started it up. Upon starting the game, you will be gifted a free playable character that you will get to explore the game with. If we look up here, you'll see your crowns. This represents your in-game currency that shows you how much money you've won by battling. Alongside this is your shards. This is your soft currency, which can be used to upgrade or purchase your in-game items, making it integral to your progress. The most important thing that you need to know right away is this. These are referred to as bounty boxes, and these are the keys to success within the game. Your first objective will be to collect as many career points as possible, because the more career points you have, the more features you are able to unlock for battle. If we go ahead and click up here, we can see that there are multiple milestones, each bearing its own rewards. Upon reaching a certain amount of career points, you will be able to unlock various features, like guns, shards, attachable items, loot boxes, experience points, and much, much more. Now, in order to obtain career points, you will have to collect 20 bounty contracts. And for every 20 contracts you receive, you will be awarded one bounty box. Each bounty box will contain multiple in-game items as well as between 12 to 30 career points, allowing you to unlock new in-game features that will aid you in battle. In order to earn bounty contracts, you must complete battles and place as high as possible. One major bonus is that whether you place first or last in battle, you will still be rewarded for your time playing the game. So much like myself that absolutely sucks at the game, it still rewarded me for my efforts which to me makes it well worth my while. Now in order to borrow an NFT, all we're going to do is go over here and click the borrow NFT button. And just like that, we've been awarded our very first free NFT, with which we may start earning right away for the next 24 hours. Now that we've got our character, we are ready to play. But before we do that, I need you to take note of this number right here. 
This represents the amount of gaming contracts you own, which is how many times you get to play in succession with your selected character. With a recharge time of 2 hours per contract, you should be able to play on average around 10 to 12 games per day. Of course, you can purchase contracts as well, which will allow you to extend your playing time. So when you do decide to go into battle, make sure you've got your game face on. Now before we jump into battle, each character comes with a custom set of weapons that you can attach depending on what you're comfortable with. Each character is allowed to carry a knife and two guns of their choice. To start things off, you will be awarded a shotgun and a light machine gun. As you progress through the game, you will unlock better and stronger weapons. You will also receive experience points from every battle you partake in, and this will allow you to level up your free character and enhance your battle statistics. Now that we know how everything works, let's head to the battlefield with our borrowed NFT and go earn ourselves some cash. Cool, cool. So the power went out in my city that I live in, so I had to get a new NFT. So I did that and we're going to see where we can place. I'm heading into the game with a grenade launcher and a shotgun. So one long range weapon, one short range weapon. Ooh, not my favorite map. Ooh, he's got a... I haven't seen anyone with that in a while. Got him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, get out of here. Done. So you don't want to get caught in between two players. That's like the worst thing that can happen. Haha, ha, waited for him. How about that? So you got a time, like distance management is one of the best tools in the game. Ooh. I was gonna kill him. What's wrong with you? This guy's just stealing your kills. One of the best tactics you can do is just wait for players to fight and then like take them out while they're fighting one another. That's the smartest thing I would say. That and distance management. Get him! Get him. Get oh my word. The shotgun's amazing as you can see. It's just like one shot, boom, dead. If you're close enough and you get the angle right. I just got shot twice with a shotgun. Yay. Cool, cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me change to my grenade launcher. Got him, I got him. Oh, I thought I had him with a final swipe. That's tough. I think we've got a dead player on the map now. Oh, hurt myself with a shotgun. Get out of here. I need to run to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. Let me just get a kill before I die. No! Okay. Hopefully I can still place second, third. Just... Ah, got him. Okay. Third secured. That's fine. That's decent. I mean, I really kind of messed up on this map. The thing is that map blocks you off. So you can't really run directly. You got to go up and then down and across. So it's really tactical on that map. But... Third, third is decent, and as you guys can see, I'm still going to earn money even though I've second last, basically. So no matter where you place, no matter how good you are, how bad you are at the game, you're still going to earn something, which for me makes it worth a while. I absolutely love that about the game, because if you lose like 10 times, all of that just accumulates, which is awesome. So here you can see, I get shards, I get bounty contracts, I get crowns, and I get royal trophies. So it's all a win-win whether you win or lose. There's no losing in this game. That's how I see it. So we're going to play another game and see where I can place. Hopefully I get a nice map, one of my favorite maps, and hopefully some easy opponents or some dead opponents on the map. That's usually a cool thing. When a player loses control or loses connection, their, pl their player will stay dead still and you get to just get free kills all the time. Let's see, hopefully we can get... Nope, everybody's moving. And everyone's quiet. That's the worst when it's so quiet. Oh, he has a dead player. Just like I told you guys. He stole it, he stole it, he stole it. Oh, get him! Double kill. Double kill. Now we gotta go find that dead player, wherever he is on the map. Gotta go find that dude. I think I found him. Yeah, he is. So this is a dead player. It's basically a free kill. As you can see, I just got my free kill. I'm gonna go see if I can find him again. That would be awesome. And this dude over here. Come back here. Why are you running away? Oh, I think we have two dead players on the map. Nobody's moving. Ah, this might be fun. I might just, oh no, you're just hiding away. 
That's just a coward. You got a dead player and a coward. Well, I'm. Oh no, don't glitch, don't glitch, don't glitch. So this dude just killed that guy. Oh, I hate that. That's the worst. Hate that. I just must completely. You need to change weapons really quickly when you're going into someone. Some of these guys are very good at like diving. We got two dead players on the map. Yeah, that's what it is. Or someone just doesn't know how to play. I think that's the case. I mean, I got four kills. This dude's going to win it by far. There's no way I can catch him. But hey, yeah, that's two dead players. That's never happened to me before. And they've stayed online all the time. So that's cool. Sometimes you get lucky. I won my last game that I won. Two players fell, fell out and it was just the two of us that were left. And yeah, we basically fought it off to death. I won. So sometimes you'll get lucky, which is the cool thing about this game. If you play consistently, you will get lucky. I guarantee you. You could be the worst at the game and you will still win. So there you guys can see I play second. Decent amount of shards. Just split with the owner. Two. So this is everything I won. I've won two bounty trophies, 25 crowns, and two royal trophies, which is cool. I think we got one last game. I think I'm going to play... We're going to play one last game, and then we're going to go check out my Voca wallet. And I'll show you guys how much I've earned, how much it's worth. We'll look at the token price, how to withdraw it, and yeah. Hopefully I can get lucky again. I placed third in the first one, second in that one. Oh, hopefully we get first in this one. Let's see. Oh, another dead player on the map. So you guys can see. No, don't kill me. Okay, it's fine, they can kill me. Just let me go find that other dude. I'm gonna go find that dude. I think he's in the corner here. Yeah. I got him, I got him, I got him. Don't worry about him, guys. Oh! I got two kills. I got two kills. I don't care. Look at this dude running on the map. He just wants to go find the dead player. Look at this. Everyone's like just running. Everyone's running. Everyone's running. Oh! He got me and the other dude got him. Ain't that awesome. I hate that. I keep missing with the... I need to carry my... They're gonna, they're gonna run. Everyone's running. I think I should just wait here. They're gonna kill him anyway. And that dude hopefully spawns somewhere close by. Hello? 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 Nice free kill. Oh, I just need to take out my shotgun. Everything is close range. Everything is close ranged and I think I can... Here's another free kill. Hello. Oh, I should have just kept swiping. Sometimes you get knockdowns with weapons or with a knife. Which is really cool. But you never know when it's going to happen or how it's going to occur. You see, that dude just got knocked down. And they're really good at rolling out of the way. Second. Second's fine. I'm happy with that. So you can play second all the time. You get a decent amount. You see, I died quite a bit. I need to stop running into battle. I think that's my problem. I sort of meet everyone head on and then they just take me out like that. Makes it easier to kill. So, yeah. Distance management is the name of the game. If you can manage your distance in battle, you'll do really well in the game. Cool. So let's see what we earned. I've played three games and I finished third, second and second, which is pretty decent. 325 shards, two bounty contracts, 25 crowns, royal trophies. Cool, cool. That's awesome. I'm more than happy with that. Yeah, so let's go check out the Verka wallet and show you guys how much I've earned, how to withdraw the money, what you can do with it. Let's go. So this right here is my Verka wallet, and as you can see, I've earned just over a dollar, which might not seem like much. But with everything that's happened to the crypto industry in the last few weeks, the token price hasn't really been all that stable. When taking that into consideration, my account should be at around $2 to $3 right now, which is pretty decent for someone who's really bad at the game. If you would like to withdraw your winnings from your Verka wallet, all you'll have to do is create an Alron wallet and connect the two. Then simply hit withdraw, and that's it. What I'm going to do for you guys is continue to play the game every day for the next month and see just how much money I'm able to earn from it. 
However, if you are looking for a different free play to win game, then you're going to want to check out this game right here, in which you don't have to kill people and all you have to do is walk around to earn yourself some cash. If you would like to stay up to date with the game and how everything develops, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, I've been Obeyed for Gaming Meets Finance, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.